Hi friends, you are most welcome to my channel once again. Thanks for your attention to my videos and I am very thankful to you all for your valuable comments. In my last video, I have asked which solvent I have used. Majority of my viewers were right. Uh, I have used benzyl benzoate as a solvent. Now, in this episode, we will discuss about the special chemicals. Uh, which works wonder in your perfumes. But before that I proceed, uh, I would like to explain how to make the solutions. Because many of my viewers have asked me to explain how to make the solutions. Solution of any chemicals in the perfume is very important. It has a very important contribution in perfume making or say the composition of the fragrance. Making of solution requires little calculations. All of you are, must be knowing how to calculate the percentage wise. But I would like to do the experiment in front of you. Those who are, those, who are, uh, those of my viewers are not able to understand. So I'll do the, a simple experiment to explain you. For example, take uh, uh, chemical A. Okay. Now it will be, it may be benzoin, resinoid or whatever chemicals. So it's a chemical A. And now this is my solvent. Okay. Solvent could be benzyl benzoid, benzyl alcohol, DPG, DOP, DP, whatever the solvent you use. So it doesn't make any difference right now that we, what I'm using it. I'm just trying to explain the chemical and a solvent. And if somebody says, 5% solution, 10% solution, what does it mean? Fine. So, for example, as I have told my earlier videos, 5% solution or 10% solution. So, now we'll take for in a simple language, 10% solution of chemical A. So, this is a chemical A in a dark color and we'll make the 10% solution of chemical A. Fine. So, what we'll do, 10% means one, uh, one tenth part of anything. So obviously, if I take 10%, so I have to make 100 uh, grams. So I have to take uh, 100 divided by 10, that comes to 10, 10 grams or 10 ml. And if I want to make 10 ml solution, which I'm going to make right now over here. So what I will do, I will take 10th part of 10 ml, that comes to 1 ml. So here it is simple. I have taken 1 ml. This is 1 ml of chemical A, now 9th part or 9 per ml of solvent, right? I'll make it solvent. So this is a solvent. I'll simply make it and I'll fill up to 10 ml in my measure. Yeah. Now this is becomes a 10% solution of chemical A. As you know, chemical A could be anything, any of the chemicals, right? So, it's the simplest way. If suppose you want to make 5% solution, percent is 100 hundred percent. So, take the, if it is 5%, take the for 5 grams. If 10%, take 10 grams. If it is 1 kg, that is 1000 ml, take 100 ml of that is 10%. And likewise, you can easily calculate on the calculator, take the percentage and add it so this will become the solution so this is for those viewers who have asked me how to make the solution so this is a simple way to make the solutions now it's clear i hope you people have all have understood that how to make the solutions if not do write me in my mails and try to i will try to explain you in more easiest way if i if i could find but i think this is the more this was the most easiest way that i have shown over here now again the important core of this video is what are those special chemicals which create the wonders in the perfumes or in the perfume combinations. You will be surprised, not all of you, those who doesn't know it. So, a very common fragrance, or a very common chemical, DHM, that's called dihydromercinol. It's a 
major uh, i mean say i would say that uh, dhm is important ingredient of most of the fragrance it's already most the perfumist all of the perfumists they use their dhm in my views uh, i would if i'm not wrong 99% i would say 900% dhm is been used in the fragrance composition but if you people are using it in your perfume whatever you have made it and if you add dhm like from 1% to 5% it will be enough try it with 1% any any of the your composition so and it is not expensive and is commonly available now comes to the special chemicals the special chemical is herbec from iff herbec is crystal clear fresh woody confectioner's note but it has a amazing value herbec provides the strain to the compound as the name suggest it smells like herbal but the note is powerful camphorous earthy gives excellent result in any compound especially fresh and woody it creates a uh, gives a smooth transition from top to base note and usage is again 1% to 3% to the extreme condition you may take it up to 5% but that is not advisable but if you can create it for with a 5% it's up to you this herbec increase the fusion power herbec increase the projection in your perfumes so this was my today's video for special chemicals as i mentioned herbec was is important that was which is not quite easily available so you can try with the herbec if you have it try it in my next video again i will come with the some new special chemicals i will reveal the names of special chemicals and one again once again this is my experience i'm not promoting any product over here or any materials i have found this th- herbec this product wonderful of my experience in my experience so i'm sharing it with you people so till then do write me your comments and your opinions in my mail and do post me your questions your queries i'll glad to answer them till then goodbye take good care of yourself bye